What up, what up? It's your boy Shady C here. Now, somebody asked me earlier today, who is my favorite all-time pro wrestler? And it surprised me because this person kind of knows me semi-personal and I thought, I thought it was common knowledge. So since it's not, I wanted to do this video to tell everybody who my favorite pro wrestler is and why. All time now, not just like today, Hulk Hogan. Because he was the first wrestler I ever saw watching wrestling. Let me take you back years now. I don't want to age myself, but I just might end up doing it during this video. So I started watching wrestling. My first pay-per-view I ever saw live watching it on TV, not on videotape, but not on the network, was WrestleMania 5. And my very first pro wrestling memory is the match from Saturday Night's Main Event where it was uh, uh, the Mega Powers versus the Twin Towers. And from the jump, Hulk Hogan's energy, his mannerisms, glued me. Literally sucked me into it. You know, his positive message of training, say your prayers, take your vitamins, and later on, believing in yourself. Um, as a young Christian boy, it glued me in. And there was one promo that he did. Um, I, heard, I, I, I remember hearing it. And one promo, and it stuck with me. It was during the Hulk Hogan, Sergeant Slaughter feud. And um, he was talking about what the red and yellow stand for. And I don't remember what he said the yellow stands for, but he said this. And it, and it from the moment, I was like, wow. Because I was, like I said, a young Christian boy. The red stood for the blood of Christ that shed on the cross. He actually said that in a wrestling promo. That, to me, was like, wow. And looking back now, knowing that it's scripted and predetermined, that, to me, takes a lot of guts, because you would never hear a wrestler say that today. So, I mean, I know most of it, most of, you know, he would always, you know, do the cross. A lot of that was um, just the character. But I actually remember hearing Hulk say, um, I think it was on the Howard Stern show, that he felt that the character, Hulk Hogan, was better than the man, Terry Bollea. And now lately, he wants to get Terry Bollea up to the level of what Hulk Hogan was at. And he mentioned in an interview actually really believing in God. So to me, that's always really cool. But yeah, going back to the past, um, Hulk Hogan just always resonated with me. The energy, the hype, the fact of like, like he, he, he seemed like a bundle of energy. He really did. And um, looking back now... At his Japanese matches, which I recommend everybody do. Everybody go look up Hulk Hogan matches in Japan. The man could really wrestle. The man could really go. He didn't do it in the U.S. because he didn't have to. You know, he had all he had to do was you know Hulk up, hit the leg drop, and and use that energy that he has, that God-given energy that he has, and um, it would send the fans crazy. It would have the fans going wild. This, which is why he would say Hulkamania is running wild. It would be wild and crazy and energetic and in your face. And it was really cool. But the fact that he could actually go when he needed to is, is I thought was awesome. Like I said, that was that's more looking back. Because back then I had never seen any of his Japanese matches. But thank you, YouTube. You can see that now. But yeah, my number one all-time favorite wrestler, past, present, future, Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is the bar. Hulk Hogan set the bar. Um, yeah, so, I, like I said, the whole reason I'm doing this is because somebody who knows me on a semi-personal level asked me who, uh, who my favorite wrestler was of all time, and I'm like, I thought that was obvious, I thought I made it clear, so I guess I hadn't, so I wanted to make that clear now, definitely Hulk Hogan, he's gone through personal stuff as of late, but he's risen above it, but I do want to say also to Vince McMahon and to the WWE, bring Hulk Hogan back. Bring Hulk Hogan back. I've said this to friends. Not having Hulk Hogan in the WWE family. Ooh, what the hell is that? I don't know. But it would be like Disney not having Mickey Mouse. That's how synonymous Hulk Hogan is with the WWE. I mean, it's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan has 
been able to rise above the WWE, to be more famous than the WWE. There's people somewhere in China where I can say that I'm Hulk Hogan and they'll know what I'm talking about. I'll say WWE and they won't know what I'm talking about. Hulk Hogan has become bigger. Vince hates to hear it, but it's the facts. Hulk Hogan is bigger. And I'll tell you what, I've never met Hulk Hogan. I've never gotten to see him live. Because back then, you know, we didn't have the money to go to wrestling events. I wish we had, but we didn't have the money to do so. So, um, if I ever seen him live and in person, if I ever met him, I would cry. I, I won't even deny it. I'm not going to sit here and be a manly man and say, nah, I'd play it cool. Be like, hey, Hulk, what's up, bro? No, I would cry. Straight up. There would be sobbing and there would be tears and it would be insane. But, yeah, so that's who uh, my all-time favorite wrestler is, Hulk Hogan. Now, if you agree with me, do me a favor, and I want you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. Let everybody know. If you don't agree with me, then who do you like? But still, like, subscribe, and share. Push comments down below. Tell me your all-time favorite wrestler. Who was your, and if, if it's a different answer, who was the first person you remember watching in wrestling? And who was your all-time favorite? It could be the same answer, or it could be two different people. Let me know. And as y'all know, there's still Shady C, and I'm still always right.